Clintons fill only 16% of seats at Tiny Venue on speaking tour in Toronto. The Clintons announced this tour hoping to use it as a springboard for Hillary's 2020 political ambitions. But the lackluster response from the paying public has put a severe dampener on those plans. Apparently, the Clintons' political life is set to end not with a bang, but a whimper. Can you imagine the sort of envy Hillary Clinton experienced over the jam-packed arenas that President Trump always has, as she gazed out at the more than 15,000 empty seats facing them last night in Toronto? The Daily Mail reports that only 3,300 tickets were sold in the Scotiabank Arena, which holds 19,800. That is just 16.6% of capacity. Even though curtains were erected cutting the arena in half, in an attempt to protect the Clintons' egos, the vacant seats far outnumbered the occupied ones. Perhaps the Clintons should have held the event in a local bookstore. American Thinker reports. Perhaps even more humiliating, while ticket prices began at $53, Canadian, the Daily Mail reported that one ticket was going for $6.55 in the final minutes before the event. The program featured the Clintons talking with Frank McKenna, deputy chair of TD Bank. According to the Daily Mail, he is also a former Canadian ambassador to the U.S., was also a major Clinton Foundation donor, and was featured in the book, Clinton Cash. While 3,300 tickets sold at prices ranging from $53 to over $200 still yields a healthy payday, even after expenses, the optics are terrible. Clinton-friendly CNN reports. And even Democrats loyal to the Clintons are questioning the decision to embark on the tour. I just think the optics of going to an event where people are paying to see them, and they are financially gaining from this, I am not sure that is the right way to re -ingrain.